A local two-year-old is seeing things differently this Thanksgiving. Actually, she's seeing everything for the first time. A lot to give thanks for, as 9 News reporter Tony Moronis shows us. He went to Loveland today and found out how a little girl's new vision was made possible. It's it. It's brown. It is brown. Is it a rectangle? Two-year-old Emmy Latchford couldn't do any of this seven months ago. Hey. Oh. It's a huge improvement. I mean, we're, we're, we're ecstatic. I mean, we're, you know, ever since we got back, it's been <clears throat> an ongoing success rate. That's crazy. She was blind, you know? From the, the day she was born, they looked at us and said, she's blind, there's nothing we can do. Emmy was born with optic nerve hyplasia, or ONH. Basically, the optic nerve was underdeveloped. We were gonna do whatever we could to get her there. There was China where doctors were using stem cell therapy to fix conditions like Emmy's. The Latchfords had to raise nearly $35,000 for the trip and the procedure. We did volleyball tournaments, cornhole tournaments, we did dinners. We had people calling us up donating $500, $1,000 that we'd never even heard of. It took 18 months to raise the funds, and when they did, off to China they went. What was out of sight for the Latchfords is now in focus for Emmy. I mean, she's able to pick out small letters. Uh, she, you know, uh, letters that you would probably read off a magazine, maybe like maybe a quarter inch high. She had her first ophthalmology appointment um, three months after we got back, and she read the eye chart for the doctor. The Latchfords want to thank everyone who saw the vision for Emmy's sight. For us, it was amazing what the community did for us and for our little girl. It was. They, they made it happen. In Loveland, Tony Moronis, 9 News. <laughs> what a great pre-Thanksgiving story. And you can see more photos of Emmy and her trip to China right now on WCPO.com. That's great.